We're now at the antibody oligo conjugate binding or AOC binding and pixelation parts. It is in these steps that we're building the sequencing applicon that will introduce barcodes for the proteins and their spatial interrelationships. As mentioned in the sample preparation and fixation video, the speed of pipetting your samples after fixation should be increased. So the way to pipe it up and down to mix your samples should now look something like this. Roughly 10 times in three seconds. So it's quite quick. So the MPX workflow is generally straightforward and uh, repetitive. And in this section, I would like to show you what one of those typical repetitions look like. So to begin, you will have your cell pellet in a smaller volume, followed by adding the prepared master mix for that step. Mixing is done by pipetting up and down at the previously demonstrated speed. And then it's time to incubate the samples at a fixed time and temperature. For instance, 37 degrees for 20 minutes. At the end of the incubation time, wash buffer is added and your samples are centrifuged to collect all of the cells at the bottom of the tube. Remember that it's crucial to aspirate the supernatant slowly and always following the liquid surface down. Your cells are now ready for the next reaction step. It can be a good idea to have a tube prepared with a similar volume so that it's possible to account for any volume discrepancies that may arise when you're working with numerous samples and conducting numerous washing steps. During the AOC binding, the antibody pool is added to your samples that will then bind to their respective protein targets on the cell surface. Since we're using antibody oligo conjugates with marker barcodes, this step introduces the protein barcodes. After you see binding, it's time for the two pixelation parts. But it's good to know that there is an optional stopping point here if you wish to continue another day. Pixelation consists of two main parts, pixelation A and pixelation B. Pixelation A creates the protein neighborhoods and pixelation B connects these protein neighborhoods that then bioinformatically becomes a three-dimensional spatial map of the proteins on the cell surface. The last part of the pixelation is to manually count the cell concentrations and aliquoting your cells for exonucleus and PCR steps. Check out our video guiding you through the counting procedure and also showing some highlights for the quality control and sequencing step. See you there.